Well, I'm Scott Brady with Expedition Portal and Overland Journal, and I'm about to show you one of the craziest things we've ever figured out around gear. Right now, we're testing the Rivian R1S, which is an amazing EV SUV, super capable, and it's also capable of towing this 5,000 pound Expedition Overland trailer. So we're gonna see if we can charge the Rivian from this trailer. So the first thing we need to do is plug in the Rivian supplied charge unit. Now it has two different dongles. They come off quite easily. One of them is for 220 and the other one is for 110. So we're gonna plug in the 110 service right now, right into the back of the trailer. It's gonna show a couple lights and then it's gonna go white and flash, which means it's ready to plug into the vehicle. So let's see how this works. All right, so then the next thing we need to do is open up the charge door on the Rivian, which is always very dramatic. And we're gonna take the Rivian. This is a J series electrical charger. We're gonna plug it into the vehicle. And in a second here, we should actually see this turn green. Look at that, we're actually charging the Rivian from the trailer. All right, so now we're looking at the panel in the Rivian. We're getting one mile an hour of charge from the trailer power supply. It will charge the vehicle to full in one day in about six hours, it looks like right now. And that range is of 252 is what it started with when we did the test here. Now we can stop the charging from this panel and we can also see a session summary, which we'll show you in a second. So all the way over here on the right, these are really critical. So we can decide what we want our charge limit to be, which there's no reason to not keep it at 100% because it's such a slow rate of charge. But what we can do, and this is the key piece about plugging it into a trailer, we can actually drop the amperage down to 10 amps. So that way we can reduce the amount of consumption from the trailer to make it more sustainable from the solar panels or the built-in batteries. So we can actually even go a little bit lower, which is where we're gonna go right now. So we're gonna go to eight amps um, or 10 amps. I think somewhere in that range would be good to be able to, to manage the amount of consumption out of the trailer solar and battery power. So now we're gonna click on session summary. We've only been charging for three minutes because we just started this test, but it'll eventually show us things like the amount of battery charge, the amount of battery that's, or the amount of energy that's being consumed by managing the cabin temperature and the battery temperatures. So it's really important that when you're on a slow charger like this, that you turn off all of the HVAC in the vehicle and actually lock the car, which will maximize the amount of power that's going to just the batteries. And because we don't have any accessories plugged in, um, there's nothing being charged inside the vehicle that shows zero on this at the moment as well. All right, so what we've learned is that we can actually charge an EV from the right kind of overland trailer. So this particular trailer is produced by Imperial. It's called the Explore X145, and it can be optioned up to 1,000 watts of solar panel and up to 1,080 watts of lithium ion batteries. So if you're camped on the beach in Baja for five or six days, you could realistically gain back 60, 70 miles of drive time um, in the vehicle, if not more, depending on the amount of sun that you have available. So it's really interesting to see this new technology come to play and how we can utilize it to enhance our adventures.